Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 18 Trading to Glory where the objective of our wow series, our objective of our journey is getting as high a transfer trading profit as we can. But I've just come and have a look at this um, SPCs and we have got a mega pack that we can get just by using some Spain players and making sure they're gold and we have five minimum of five rare players. So what you're going to do, what we're all going to do right now, if you're not doing this, then I would highly advise that you are. You're going across to your Spanish players and you are throwing in some Spanish players into your team that you do not need. Because not everyone needs Spanish players. So I'm just going to throw in loads of my untradeable ones that I just do not need anymore. We're going to throw in DeMarcos because we don't need him. Ooh, we don't have any rare ones, I don't think. Oh, we do. We have Vallejo. Okay, that's all right. We can use Ramos because he's got 38 pace and he sucks. This game is all about pace, if you didn't know. It's all about the pace, about the pace. Uh, who else we got? We can use Moreno, because I'm not using him in any of my teams. We can use... Oh, we have an Inform Obiang. Don't really... Of course we have an Inform Obiang, but I don't want to use that. We're going to use Ibora, because he is worth absolutely nothing. We are going to also use... Oh, okay. We'll use Denis Suarez. Never tried Denis Suarez on this game. Right wings, we got... That's not... A right wing. I was going to say... How many rare players do we have? We got six. So we don't actually need the rare player. Ah. You need them from different leagues. That could be a problem. Ah. Uh, okay. So maybe we will have to use Falke. So maybe it's not as easy as everyone thinks it's going to be. But that's the whole part of the test, ladies and gentlemen. The test is to see if you have enough game sense to work that out which I did so we can actually use Lorente there because he's from the Premier League now we've got two from the ah no we can't use him because we don't have him we already have two Premier League ones okay I think we have a Jose Reina do we not I think we do have a Jose Reina that we might be able to use we do have a Jose Reina I don't want this to take up too long though in the video um so what I'm going to do is have a look and see what potential replacements we could use um, let's have a look then let's go Spain concept players and just have a look so there's a Martinez there but I really don't want to have to use that there's a Bartra and there's an Albiol that's useful to know um, I think Bartra's 81 rated right so I'll throw Bartra in so we got Bartra say that's the back line pretty decent now That'd be fine. Now we need to get rid of these two Spanish guys here. But the problem is, do we have any different ones in the whole game? Now of course you have Thiago and Silva, but don't really want to use them. If I'm being perfectly honest. Um, doesn't look like we have much choices here. If I'm being honest, oh, hang on, there's a Portuguese League one, we can use him. Oh, hang on. Right, we can use this guy here. He'll work. Okay, that'll work. Brilliant. So now we got. We can't have any more English Premier League. We can't have any more Italians. And we've got the. We don't have the rare. Do we have the rare players? We have eight rare players in the team right now, which is awesome. So they don't need to be rare. They just need to be from a different league. That's all I'm asking for, game. Negredo, would he be would work? Yeah, I think he would. And then left wing. We don't have anyone there, but we have to check the concepts. Oh, how many chemistries does it need to be? 90. Do we not just have any Spanish player in our team that isn't in our club, that isn't from any of these leagues? Surely we have to have one. Would this guy work? He would. He would work. So I'm going to go ahead 
buy these four players and then we'll be ready to open our mega pack. Let's do this. So Barter is quite expensive right now. I'm not really sure why he's so expensive. Is he in the team of the week? Because if he is, that would make sense why he's so expensive. But I don't... No, he's not in the team of the week. So I don't know why Barter is so expensive. Probably because he's from a different league and he is um, like that. But honestly, guys, by the time you're seeing this video, which will be in four and a half hours time, this SBC will have gone. So, I mean, I can try trading with some Spanish players, but. The he, they probably would have already... The SBC would have gone by the time you've done it. So... There's not really much I can do about that. But we can have a look. See if we can bid on one here. The bid has already been outbid. You know, all the Spanish players from different leagues are actually really expensive. And I did... I knew the SBC was here. But I never really thought about trading with it. Because I just thought people would have immense amount of players in their clubs already that be able to do this but it clearly means that they don't have immense damn it he's gone that would have been an awesome snipe but um 4.8k am i really gonna have to pay 4800 for the torres i think i'm gonna have to guys honestly it's a rip off and all that but not really much I can do. I could try and snipe one, but I really can't be bothered if I'm being brutally honest. There we go then, guys. Just picked up the last player that I will need. It actually turned out that the inform for the um, Spanish League 2 player, the centre mid that we had, was actually an inform. So, I mean, I will probably go ahead right now and do some trading with some of these players. By the time this video comes out, they're probably back down to their usual price. Which is why I always say, always check your SBCs, guys. Whenever you're on FIFA, always check for the new SBC. Because we knew, I knew that the SBC was there. But by the time I came to record when the players would be up on the market, uh, there wouldn't be any there. So the video wouldn't be that exciting. But for you right now, you might have actually missed out on some pretty big deals. So which is why I always say, guys, always hop over to FIFA because you could have got yourself a mega pack and make yourself some money from the Spanish players from other leagues. Um, as I said, I record this between 3 and 5 in, well, earliest 3 o'clock in the afternoon when people are just coming home from school. So the market is a bit more busy. We do actually have a board here. Could it be anyone decent? It's Portuguese. It's goalkeeper Rui Patricio. <laughs> Uh, you always get excited when that Portuguese flag comes out, don't you? You always think, oh, could it be a Ronaldo? But no, we actually get the Arsenal Theo Walcott, which I didn't think he was in packs anymore. Wait. I didn't think the Arsenal Theo Walcott was on the market. I thought the Arsenal Theo Walcott was in the market. I don't know. Maybe they haven't put it up yet. Or maybe I just need to update my ultimate team. But. Oh we actually got a duplicate Gabriel Jesus. Which is a cheeky couple thousand coins. I don't know how much he's at right now. He's actually at. Back up to his usual price. So you know what. I'm just going to sit there and let him roll out. Because I'm not desperate for the coins. He'll go for what he wants to go for. But I was pretty sure. That Theo Walcott had his Everton card out. So guys, it doesn't actually look like he is in the game, which confuses me. But one thing I'm going to show you before we get into sniping some um, of these Spanish players is... Remember last year, cast your minds back to the Lunar New Year FIFA 17 Ultimate Team. Now that was the year of the Rooster. And I'm pretty sure if EA are going to do it again, because it's more chance to release some special cards... Can move the webcam up a bit because it's a little bit too low. It's going to be a excuse them to release new cards, more packs, more people buying packs, and actually they'll give us some SBCs. Now I'll run through what happened last year with uh, the Lunar New Year. 
you actually got a Lunar New Year reward. Now, if you logged in to FIFA 17 Ultimate Team during the Lunar New Year event, which was between the 27th and 30th of January, to receive your reward, the rewards you receive are based on the number of days you logged on to FUT since launch. The more days you logged on to your console, PC, web app and EA Sports FIFA companion app, the higher your reward. The rewards for, for each tier as followed. Then you had one six days, New Year kit, 7 to 30 days, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, 30 to 70 days, uh, the kit and the Mega Pack, 71 to 110 days was the Mega Pack and Lunar New Year kit. Then the Lunar New Year kit and Ultimate, Ta Ultimate Team um, Ultimate Pack was 111 days plus. You had uh, discounted coin packs for the first time in FIFA 17 or FIFA Ultimate Team 17. Some of the best packs in Ultimate Team have a coin price discounts up to 50%. These discounted packs will be available for a limited time only. Follow EA Sports FIFA on Twitter for live announcements when these pack offers go live. And then you had the Year of the Rooster SBC, which was to celebrate the Year of the Rooster SBC. Play this S SBC with a chance to earn unique rewards. Hurry those only available for a limited amount of time. Now what I'm actually going to try and find out, because I wasn't playing Ultimate Team much last year, is what the FIFA 17 year of the Rooster SBC. And I'm going to have a look to see what this SBC was. So give me a minute. Okay then guys, so as we know the Lunar New Year is coming up and we can start to make some investments. Now we know there is things about them, there's things that could do. So we know this year is the year of the dog. So we could be picking up any players here that have a dog on, on their club badge. So one that does, or a wolf, one that does pop up to me is wolves. Wolves players will probably start going for quite a lot. Um, and also any Chinese players on the market as well. And you might not lose any money on these. So we're going to go to Chinese players, see how much they're going for. Now there's uh, there's a few Chinese players. It's a lot better than last year for Chinese players. And I'm going to actually have a look if there's any gold Chinese players on the market at all. There are no gold ones. So the best one you can get is a silver Chinese player. And there's one there for 500 coins. And I would recommend, if you have a couple thousand coins spare, go and put a few in your club. Because you never know what EA are going to do with SBCs. They've been a lot more gifting of SBCs this year than they were last year. So if you can pick up any uh, Chinese players on the market that will fit into your club, I would highly recommend going and picking a couple up. Because even if you don't sell them... Um, even if they're not um, featured in SBC, there'll be a pre-hype and people will start wanting to pick up Chinese players when the bigger YouTubers are coming up. So we should uh, come coming up and saying, let's buy some Chinese players. So what I'm actually going to do here is just, again, buy some more Chinese players, see if there are any on the market here. Him for 200 coins should be okay to sell on as well. And if not, just shove them in your club. It's a couple hundred coins you've spent on them. And it really isn't too expensive at all. And we're also going to get this guy here, CTN. We're going to pick him up and we're going to put him in the club. Now, we're also going to have a look for, as I said, um, any club that has a dog on the bat. Any dog of any sort. And we know one that is easily which is Wolves. Wolves has a dog on their badge. And I would guarantee you right now, Wolves players are still going for pretty cheap, which they are. Wolves players are going for very cheap. I'd recommend picking up some gold ones if you could. Uh, someone like this guy, Sice, would probably be a good player to pick up if you could for as cheap as possible. Again, if you pick him up for 450 coins or even 400 coins, okay, there are none for 400 coins, but 450 I think you could probably sell that on for a bit more as well. So I'm going to pick up a couple of these guys. We even had one in our club already. So I'll make sure we have a few more. I don't really want to bid on one, thanks. That one's gone. That one's the one we picked up. Now, no one's going to be buying these. You can try and snipe them, but I don't think there'll be too many on the market. So we pick up all them for, uh, them for there. So we got five 
ready to sell on. We'll shove them all on the transfer list. I'm not sure if there's any other Wolves players here that might be going for some amount of coins. I'm pretty sure, yep, yeah, there's the Indai and there is the Costa as well. So why not pick a few of these up as well. Um, we'll go for Endai, I guess, and see how much. I mean, look, this guy's at minimum price. So I'm actually going to put a bid on him. Any minimums on the minimum price, which is 650 I believe, on these guys. I will pick up, and um, even if I can't sell them, I will try and sell them on at some other date as well. This is why I always like to keep a backlog of coins. I like to keep a couple hundred thousand coins for trading. So we're going to pick up some of the Wolves players. Now, I'm pretty sure another team that might have a dog on the badge is Huddersfield. Now, I'm pretty sure that is a... I mean, they're called the Terriers... But I'm not too sure if that is actually a dog or not. So I'm going to have a look on my phone to see if there are any other ones that you can pick up. Also guys, during, I mean, even if you don't, like, have to, you don't have to follow these tips. But if you follow YouTubers that are specialised, who have been doing trading a lot longer than me, they will know stuff about this a lot earlier than I do. And um, you will get to do this um, a bit quicker. You'll be able to find out the information earlier than I actually put it up on this channel. One person that I do follow is LE96Z, which is um, a pretty good, pretty good. He's a he's a nice guy, and he's good to get your. Um, Good to get transfer trading tips from. So he actually tweeted out 15 hours ago. Any clubs with dogs or wolves on their badge. Literally wolves is the only one I can think of. And someone replied might as well start buying Irish players. So another one someone has said is Roma. Now I'm not sure if Roma actually have a dog in the badge. I'm, I can't quite remember. But we can have a look. Roma is that a dog? It is a dog. So Roma is a dog. So again, see if you can pick up any cheap Roma players. Now the cheapest Roma players are currently at 800 coins. So I would recommend going through and getting a few of these Roma players. Try and get a few different ones in variety. Um, you know, maybe get yourself an Emerson. He's actually gone. See if any others here. Look, there's some rare ones here for 800 coins. That's always a good shout. Pick a few of them up. Again, not too many. But we'll send them to the club and we'll send this guy onto the transfer list. I'll probably already have some of them in my club anyway. Um, another club that people were saying, uh, let's have a look. Hellas Verona have apparently got Mastiffs. Leicester have got a Fox, one of the Mexican teams. Huddersfield. So there are clubs that have players in. There are clubs that have the dog on them. And we don't know. What are you going to do for the uh, Chinese New Year? But I'll do another team. I'll do Hellas Verona, who are also in this team, or in this league, which is nice. Um, we'll go and do Verona. We'll get a couple of Verona players in the club. And then we'll probably leave it at that, because I don't want to heavily over-invest. Because, again, again, I don't want to tell you to go and do this if you don't have the coins to waste. Um, obviously, I don't want you to waste coins, but... If you don't have the coins spare, if you can't afford to not get these coins back, I wouldn't recommend doing it because it's kind of a risk. It's, this is more of an investment rather than a trading method or a sniping method. So we'll put them onto the transfer list. That is all I'm going to really tell you to do for trading today. We're going to have a look at sniping some gold um, Spanish players though from other leagues. So we'll start with the Premier League, have a look how cheap they're going for. It would help if I put it to Spain, wouldn't it? Uh, Spain, we'll have a look how cheap they're at. So apparently they're at just about 2,000 coins right now. So I can only apologise that you guys won't be able to do this. Um, because it is just a little bit unfortunate the SBC is ending when this video comes out. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But they probably only put it out for a couple of hours at most. So we're going to keep having a look here, seeing if anyone else pops up. 
and um, I'll report back if we do find any snipes. There's an edge on there for a thousand coins. Again, not quite quick enough to get him. There we go, and I picked up a Lorente for 1,800 coins. I'm going to sell him for 2k. I think he should sell for that. Yeah, I guess he would sell for that. Um, unless there are some there for no there's some there for 1900, so we'll pop it down to 17. Actually, we c uh, you know what this will be fine. There we go. Then picked up a Mankio. Can I get the Femina? I can't get the Femina, but I picked up a Mankio there. I'll be able to sell him for 1,900 coins, making us about 700 coin profit, which is not too bad at all. We'll list him up. As I said, unfortunately, you guys won't be able to do this when this video goes live. But at least I can profit from the coins. And I want to try and show you what I'm doing to snipe with. So you guys, again, in future, always check the SBCs. Even if I haven't made a video, always check the SBCs. Always check the SBCs, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, guys. Just went and picked up a Yosello for 1,900 coins. I'll sell him on for 1,900, making us minimum profit. But at least it's a good snipe. And we picked up a Yosello for 350 coins. That's big. We'll list him up for... I'll do 1,800. I'll undercut the market just because we're making ourselves a pretty good profit from that one. That is a nice snipe. There we go then. Just picked up a Sanjo there for uh, minimum profit. Picked him up for 1,800. We'll sell him 1,900. Making us a minimum profit. But again, it's not too bad. We'll pick up a Lorente there as well. Again, minimum profit, but it's all the minimum profits, guys, that add up. Don't forget that. So, guys, all these Spanish ones have sold there. Um, I'm actually going to relist some of these. See if anyone's bidded on the Jesus yet. No, no one's bid on the Jesus yet. And we got a couple more of them, guys, waiting to sell as well. But, I mean, I'm winning six. I don't know what I'm winning six of. Oh yeah, we listed up all these Wolves guys, didn't we? So we'll pick up all the Wolves. Uh, we'll pick up all the Wolves players. We'll send a couple of them. We'll send the Costa to the club. And we'll send all the rest of these Ndais to the transfer list. Pop all them on there. And we'll see what happens for the Year of the Dog. That should be next week anyway. I think that's another Spanish player gone. So all the Spanish players did so, which is lovely. What I'm going to do now, um, the players that we packed that were worth a bit more than this card during our uh, team of the year opening, pack opening. I'm actually going to have a look at listing them up. So we've got um, Titi and Ter Stegen here then. We're going to go ahead and list up the um, Titi. So uh, I'll list all these up and I'll show you guys what we're working with in a minute. So guys, just listen up the last one then. Pjanic there, 9.5k is what we have listed him for. And we are going to be making our coins back. This is why I didn't sell them during the team of the year. Because I knew that the player prices would be going back up. Which is why you could have got yourself a load of cheap 83 cards and sold them on for some good profit. But I didn't because I'm very new to the old trading. But what we're going to be doing right now. I said we're going to be playing some games. But I'm honestly not too sure to do my teams here guys. Because I like playing wide players. But I've also had a lot of success with this team. Um... But I would like to try some of the wide players because I've had some good wide players before. Um, I think what I might do, you know what, I'm going to go back to a formation that a lot of other people do use. I know that that is a very good popular formation this year, which I could use, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to go for the 4-3-2-1 for the one reason that if I would actually change it properly there we go four three two one now I do have I'm not sure if I kept any of my wide players in there um, I'm gonna actually put him there now it'd be a shame to waste um, we do have if I drop Herrera there a second now we reset all of this we do have an untradeable central midfielder that we did pick up in our team of the year pack opening we do have if we can get to him this is just the absurd amount of players I have in my club right now here he is the inform Alex Oxlade Chamberlain now he looks very very impressive um, but the question is is he he's about equal to Herrera 
Now, I might actually try him for Herrera. We'll drop Herrera to the club right now. I do like Herrera. Um, we got Moy. I do like Moy. Um, we're going to have to drop Rooney. Now, Sturridge, to be fair to him, if we look at him, he actually got 20 goals and 17 assists in 22 games, which wasn't too bad. Now, if this formation doesn't work, obviously we'll drop it back to a 4 3 1 2 and play that again. But I was going to make some upgrades to my team. Now, I'm not going to be replacing Jesus because I think Jesus is a very little trendy player. He's scored an insane amount of club uh, club goals for me. Bakayoko, I'm not going to move him because he's very solid. I'm not moving the Moyi because, again, I like him in the midfield. I'm going to try the Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Um, so we need some new wide players. Now, the wide players I usually had, I had a Son before, but I'm not sure if I still have these players in my club. I do. I have Sterling. Now, Sterling's definitely going back in, because I really do like Sterling in this game. He's going in. But I'm not sure whether I should try the Son or not. I mean, we look at what he's done for the club. 14 goals and 11 assists. We're going to throw him in. Uh, we're going to put him up there. And we now need another centre-back. Um... The defence is fine. Rudiger, again, isn't too bad. Edison, again, has only played two games for me, but he's pretty good in goal anyway. Um, if not, I'll just throw Begovic in there again. And the player I've had the most luck with, or the most success with, in that centre-back is honestly Chris Smalling. I haven't had any problems with Chris Smalling in this game at all. Now, ideally, I probably should have picked a lot of these players up um, on the weekend of Team of the Year. But these players are so inexpensive that, I mean, it has brought player prices down a touch, but not too much. I mean, it's just going to pick up another small in because I don't really see a, a reason not to. I think he's good enough for the club, and I think he will fit in quite nicely there. So we're going to throw him in. He goes. Uh, we're going to throw in the small Dini dog. He's going to go in there. Like that. I mean, we had Stones who can put there. We had Cahill. Not a huge fan of Cahill. He's a bit too slow for me. Then we'll move over to our Spanish League team. Um, now, we need a goalkeeper here, which is the Testagan. I just had the untradeable one that I had to replace my actual one with. Here he is, look, to Stegen. We're going to throw to Stegen in. He's an insane goalkeeper in this game. The back, my, This team actually isn't looking too bad, to be honest. I need a new central midfielder. And my strikers aren't too bad. The Aspas does the job. And the Ben Yedder does the job. So I haven't really got too many complaints with that. We need to replace Sturridge. We need to replace Rooney. Rooney, hell of a player. Love Wayne Hon there. Um, if I have an attacking midfielder in the team again, then... It will definitely be away in the there. We're going to move Herrera out. Who have we got to put in? We've got to put in... Um, Sterling. We've got to put in Son. We've got to put in... The Smalling again. Which is here. And then we've got to put in... Just look at these endless of Premier League players here. I'm looking for the... Oxlade-Chamberlain. We'll throw him on there, I guess. And there we go. That's not too bad. I don't think the team's looking too bad, guys. If you do want to recommend anyone for me to get then please do drop it in the comments section. I am looking mainly at this man right here. I did have Isco there, but I wasn't really feeling him. The Paulinho isn't bad. I might just keep him in there for now anyway. Um, what we are going to throw in then is... The... Uh, then Belly there as well. We'll put him in, and that'll be our La Liga side. Whether we'll keep it like that or not, I don't know. But the De La Feu, again, I had a lot of fun playing with him. 
And I think the Dembele did all right as well. Yeah, Dembele did decent as well. So we're going to keep the teams like that. I don't think we'll go into any games today just because of time. Um, or could we? Could we fit one game in? Could I fit one game in? Someone else did so. It was the Pjanic. So the players we bought for that SBC basically have been replaced with players that we got from Team of the Year, which is fine. Had to buy a goalkeeper. We get a bronze contracts pack, which is absolutely amazing. Um, but you know what? What I'm going to do, we might as well play a game. We might as well play a game online. None of this rubbish squad battles anymore. We're going to go into online seasons because I haven't been on online seasons in a while. I'm planning to do two a game, but today we've only got time to do the one because we had to make some improvements to the team. We we'll, might as well start off with the, the Liga one. I don't see why we shouldn't. I'd normally play two games of each side and then rotate. Or I might just play one game of each side and rotate. I don't know. But anyone who doesn't have a chemistry style, it's only this to Stegen. So I'm going to give him a cheeky chemistry style. What should we give him? Let's just throw him on a glove because that one always seems to be quite popular with him. So I throw it on and uh, we'll get into this game. And hopefully we shouldn't get sausage too hard. We're only in Division 7. So we shouldn't get badly damaged. Um, we'll advance into this. Now we're only in Division 7 because as I said, we haven't had any games really on uh, online seasons for about three months. So <laughs> I could be quite rusty online. He's got an loan of Bamyang. His team looking quite weak. He's got Lingard down there at the right back. Could expose that. Uh, the centre midfielders look quite solid. The defence doesn't look too bad. He's got Bravo. We can't catch a ball. So um, put the headphones on and hopefully pick up a win. Here we go. And there's Dale Fayou. Shoot. Oh, it's hit the post. You're kidding me. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, nice pass and move. De La Feu, shoot. He skied it. No way. Oh, my God. Why is the game paused? I do not know. Jesus Christ. We've had two early opportunities here. Blown both of them. But the team feels good. Oh, that's lovely. Go on. De La Feu, shoot. Why so weak? Oh, no. Oh, look at the run. Carver, how? Oh. No, look at this. A Bamiang on the break. If he scores. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping from Ter Stegen. Honestly, you've got a Liga team. You've got to have the 85 to Stegen. The 87 one isn't as good. The 85 one, though, is pretty overpowered. It's Casemiro. He can't shoot either. No one can shoot on this team. And this is all he's going to do. Bang it up to a Bamiang. Look at this. Look at this. Sweaty. Yeah, yes. Look at that. Varane. Defence in this team. I don't think I'd change it for the world. I'm Titi and Varane. The link-up play, the French link-up play, is unbelievable. Here we go then, Aspas. We know he's got a good left foot. There we go. Yes. 20 minutes in, we take the lead. Iargo Aspas. Iargo Aspas. Oh, yeah, look at that. Bangs it. Boom. 1 0. We're rocking. Let's go. Oh, lovely ball to Usman Dembella. But can he get past whoever that big old hairy big boy is there? Ah, oh, no, he can't. Oh, still alive, still alive. Come on. Right, come on, pass that. That's nice. Okay. Paulinho. No. Oh, look at the amount of space he's in, and he's equalised it. Ah, oh, that's, um, that's a shame. Who's that? I think that might have been Jerink Water or McCarthy, one of the two. McCarthy shouldn't even be playing. He's had a bad... He's broken his leg two times, hasn't he? Might as well end his career now. Oh, that's half time, then. Um, it hasn't gone too bad, to be honest. This guy has just had a lucky goal. He's basically just got that Bamiang up top and every ball, he just blasts it up to Bamiang. So there's not really much you can do against this guy. He's obviously just starting out his FIFA journey. 
And, uh, you know, who doesn't make the most of lone players when they're starting their FIFA journey? I mean, I did. Uh, that was a bad voice crack, but um, yeah, not really much you can do about it, really. I mean, a low division, so you can be facing the real sweaty, dirty players, aren't you? And there's a goal. Fantastic. I believe that is... God, that... He's bought on Sané. I don't know where he's got the Sané from. I wasn't even aware that he had Sané on the team. Um, yeah, 2-1 now. We're coming back from behind. Uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about this, really. Been a bit sloppy, but... Can't really expect too much else here. This guy's here. Uh, oh, maybe he can we equalise? Oh, he's De La Feu. Straight back through. Kick-off. Just run for the ball. And De La Feu gets the goal. Just as I was about to say, things aren't looking too great. The boy, Daily Feu. This man, Daily Feu, his special card. This is basically an informed version of him. I packed him. Look at this intelligent ball. And that's a fantastic finish. Like, if I had to tell you to get a good left wing in the La Liga that wasn't Ronaldo or that wasn't Coutinho, it'd be that man, Daily Feu. Look at Aspas. Aspas is running. Oh, it's got to be a penalty. That's a disgusting tackle. We get a penalty. I think we're at... I don't know where we're at. I don't know what stage. This might be the Burnabout. It might be Wembley. I'm not too sure. I think it's... I, I'm not too sure. Well, now we got to remember to take our penalties. This is how we take them. We aim to... we got the arrow here. B.O.P. We've sent him the wrong way. Aspas. Let's go, baby. He's going to do himself. Oh, look at that. Athleticism. Aspas with 3-2 up. Hell of a game, this one, isn't it? First game back. God, can't give me an easy game. Now you got to give me someone who's just always trying to stay in the game. I'm waiting for that run from Daily Feu, really. There it is. Look at him. Look at him. Look how quick he is. And then shift it onto his stronger foot. Ah, oh, he's missed it. Oh, God. Daily Feu. But that was a really good run from Daily Feu. You can't really complain. I've missed having wingers on this game. Really have. Oh, but he's giving me the ball here. Come on, Aspas, shoot that. Oh, he's four. Yes. We should be destroying people like this. I was scratching my head, and he's passed me the ball. That's really nice, isn't it? Oh, but again, controlled finish by Aspas. I love this man, Aspas. Great striker. And he's, he's left-footed as well, but as a right-footed strike, that was very pristine. Very good. And a hat-trick for him as well. Oh, he's threaded it in. Oh, look at that to stay again. Always keeping the goal up to date. Not liking putting any goals in. Oh, and that's a brilliant catch. Let's see if we can break from this. Come on. Oh, who's done that then? That's Dembele, isn't it? He was always weak for me, Dembele. Ah, oh, and he scored. Fantastic. It's all Dembele's fault. That's all Dembele's fault. God damn it. Oh, but here's Dembele. He doesn't want me to shout at him. Because he slipped one in. <laughs> kick off. A kick off is just too easy. The defence is all over the place. And we can just easily slip it in and get another goal. It's five goals. We've scored five. I'd have liked to keep the clean sheet. But it's our first goal back online for quite a long time. Goalkeeper probably shouldn't have had his legs open so much. But um, he's just a bit of a man slut. Oh, for God's sake. It's 5-4 now. This game just doesn't end. Like, I can't keep clean sheets in this game. The defending, defenders just pleb about in the box too much. But then look at his defence. His defence is all over the place as well. But my player can't get it past his goalkeeper. That's great. Really good. Mm hmm. Okay, I think he's on ultra attack right now. Look at this. He's trying to switch that play. Oh, that's lucky. We've got the ball there. Oh, look at that. It's gone straight to Dembele. Come on. Let's get a run. Let's get some runs forward, please. Oh, no. Oh, look at this. Right, let's get, a, let's get a run. Yep, there's the run. Go on. Yep, come on. Got to shoot it early. Ah, oh, right of the keeper. That's not good. Oh, but we picked up again, though. Here's Dembele. Dembele, ah, uh, he's got the, ah, uh, he's just done nothing with it. Uh, but we've got the win there, 5-4. <laughs> oh dear, that's 5-4. Aspas got a 10. Lowest performer was Testegan, but he didn't, 
to be honest, he didn't have too much to do, and he uh, we dominate the game. It's all that matters. Dominate the game. All that matters. We get three points in the division. Hopefully tomorrow we should be able to get two games in. But today I don't want to make the episode too long. But that is where we are going to leave it then. We have got a task complete. Unless this gets something good. 350 coins. But that is where we are going to leave it then. If you did enjoy, remember to drop a like. Leave a comment. How can we improve our two teams? Especially maybe the La Liga one. Could we improve that? Could we improve the Premier League one? Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I don't know what I'm going to give you a poll. Um, I haven't really got anything to give you in a poll, really. Um, actually, no. I'll give you a poll. Which one of my teams is the strongest? Is it the La Liga one? Which is... Oh, no. The first will do the Premier League. So, is the Premier League team the strongest? Or would you say the La Liga team here is the strongest? Also, let me know that in the comment section. And that will also be in this poll up here. Um... If you haven't all done so already, make sure you have subscribed and make sure you've got your notifications on. And make sure if you did enjoy and you want to show your support, share the video to all your mates. Because this is now an official series, an official FIFA series, which will hopefully cross fingers be daily. Unless something goes wrong and then I will tell you or apologise for it in the next video. But that is where we are going to end this one. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.